Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. I have an entry ID. Let me through. Really? I thought I knew all the ones that had been issued. And you were here asking about getting ID before. So tell me where you got this one. Uh oh. It's mine. Yeah, I was issued one after all. Must have misplaced it. All right. I'll believe you this once. I've got to be wary. That desert gang of outlaws is always trying to find ways to get by me. Oh, and uh, there are some rules I need to tell you before you enter. First, stay away from the generators. Nobody but the technicians is allowed access to them. That sort of security is why we need to keep an eye on IDs. So if you meet someone who's in the city illegally, Report them to us immediately, and Eric will take care of them. We can only keep peace in the city if we all work together and keep the city secure. That's what was laid down by the Great Council of Magalan, and the Great Council gave the clerics the responsibility for guaranteeing the city's independence. That means everyone is welcome here until they cause trouble. So keep the peace while you're in there. Our suggestors are busy enough without you adding to their workload. And that's it. You may pass. What's happening in the city? Nothing right now, but it's simmering. You can feel it. There was something building even before we let those Alps separatists in here. They just lit the touch paper. But hey, we're supposed to be a sanctuary, so someone decided to open the gates and let the separatists in. How many separatists are there in the city? Too many. Once an Alb, always an Alb. They still hit Elix. It's just a matter of time before they turn back. I don't know what they want in the city. I'd heard a bunch of them had set up a base in the west of Abessa, so they could have gone there. We weren't so busy here, we'd have tracked them down and cleared them out of Abessa. Last thing we need is Zaycor thinking we're harboring rebels. I heard you hold people prisoner if they can't prove their identities. Of course. Need a valid ID to enter, or to leave. It's important we keep the right balance here, and that we can hold people accountable. We've worked hard to keep things running here. We can't start letting people flood in, or the troublemakers will take over. Anyone who tries to get around with ID is given straight to the suggestors to be taken care of. You mentioned the Council of Magalon. The Great Council, yes. You'll have to speak to Judicator Alois if you want to know more about that. I'm not that well informed on my history. Who's Alois? Alois is the Judicator in charge of the city. You'll find him in the castle. He likes to stay close to the generators. I don't think I'm going to ask about Elrich. Oh. Experience galore. Excellent. Certainly a better option to complete quests and fight monsters. You're a separatist. Just like Kim. You have the same armor as Kim. Brilliant. What are you? Oh, that's so cute. Yes, you are. You're cutie. Huh. What do we have here? Fresh meat? The only fresh meat here is you. Let me ask. Do you eat Elix? Do I eat? What are you talking about? How did you get the guard to let you into the dome? I'd watch out. They're probably trying to recruit you. You wouldn't be the first to come here looking for shelter only to end up bowing down to Kalan. However you got in, you're going to find it even harder to get out. The clerics are a little jumpy at the moment. You might say paranoid. So, when they do let someone in, it does make me wonder who they are, and why the clerics thought letting them in was a good idea. I had an ID, it's okay. It's all good. If it's so hard to get in, what are you doing here? I got in before things got so paranoid. And I came here for profit, of course. Lots of nervous people close to the Albs tend to be willing to invest shards in their safety, you see. And getting hold of supplies is hard out here. So, if you can get them, 
You can sell them for a high price. Well, that was the plan. Now, the clerics have stopped me trading and cut off all the supplies. And you just let them do that? Of course I didn't let them. But getting around their ban isn't simple. It's impossible to get by the guards without an ID card. And they took mine from me as part of their crackdown. Now they say I'm causing trouble. But what else is a businesswoman supposed to do when she has her business taken from her? About your trade ban. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> don't tell me. Trading weapons can pose a danger to the community. But this is about self-defense. The only person who can stop a person with a gun is a person with an even bigger gun. Am I right? I mean, what? Are we supposed to throw rocks at the Albs when they attack? But the clerics want to keep all the guns for themselves and screw the rest of us. They call it neutrality, but I say it's oppression. Well, if you come to a city run by the clerics, you're gonna find that's the case, right? Sounds like you could use some help. Yes. Yes, I could. Still. Let's say he's right, and that I could get a hold of supplies. Not from Tavar, obviously. They've blocked that route. Let's say I could get some weapons from the Separatists, for example. Let's say they have weapons and need shards, and that they also have the business acumen of a stunned troll, so they need a salesperson. Me, for example. What if I was to say that? And what if I was to say that I have to find someone who could enter and leave this city freely? If I was to say that, then what would you say? I'd say those pumpkins are really, really big. Do you really think you can trust the Separatists? I can't leave without profit. Hell, right now I can't eat without profit. So I need this deal. So if you blab, what have I lost? Nothing. And without any guns to show, it's just your word against mine. And even Alois isn't going to see that as justice. I could help you get your weapons. Good. Right. So, this is what you need to do. Leave the city and find a Separatist called Radok. I think he's a Separatist. But whatever he is, he's a mad fucker. I can't make sense of most of what he says. But he has the weapons, and he likes trade. I think he likes trade. It's hard to tell. He wants to sell the weapons, but you'll have to work on him, okay? He won't just hand them over. I better just to say hello to him, and you'll probably uh, give me his life story and a whole bunch of weapons. You, fella! You look like that hunter that we pissed off. I'll meet you again later on. What? Not now. You'll meet me again later on. It's a date, sir. I look forward to it. Ooh, a camping chair. Ah, Kim. This is the life I l worked for. Toil hard in the land, grow our crops, and raise our kidlings. Our little Kimlings. Isn't this what you wanted, Kim? I suppose we have to go kill all those people for you first before you love me. Isn't that right? Uh, you don't have to believe everything they say. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to do anything. That hey, Paige. That is pretty suspicious. How many are them? Okay, so what's up here? I feel like this guy's going to get into a dialogue conversation with me. Hey, you! Let me guess. I'm not allowed into the upper quarter? What? No, everyone's allowed to move about freely here. I just have a question for you. You got here recently, right? I just want to know what things are like outside the dome. What's going on up there? Are the Alps attacking? Why do you ask? I'm interested. We're cut off here under the dome. Safe from the world outside. So they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodon say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. Ah. I was wondering about that. So these clerics are separate 
a sort of a separate entity from the Ignidan clerics. What are you doing outside Ignidan? Kalan teaches that every pure spirit will find salvation in Kalan's arms someday. He will find us wherever we are. So, when the Great Council chose us to serve here as guardians, the clerics did their duty. Now, we stay to show that a cleric's oath is strong. And so that we can demonstrate Kalan's grace to those who are yet to find it. So, here we stay. To help the lost free themselves from Chems, from Elix, from the Albs. Everyone is welcome in the domed city. Everyone is safe here. My name is Eric, by the way. Chief engineer here in the dome. I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. He just clicked that he was the guy we were meant to look for. Why don't the clerics have a dome like this in Ignaton? The dome requires immense amounts of energy, and the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. Can this dome survive in Albatech? Of course. Why do you think we built it? As long as we can maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. Malfunctioning energy regulators sound dangerous. Of course they are. That's out of frying yourself if you try to adjust them. If we were attacked right now, the whole dome would go critical. Thanks for that tip on the weakness of the dome. That seems a bit strange that you'd tell a complete stranger that. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. But whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. I will help you with the energy regulators. I wanted to do it myself, but do you really think you could handle it? So, let's find out who you are. You should go to Ignadon one day. You could be a good cleric. Yeah, I know, I left Ignadon behind, but they could offer you better training than I could. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Come back to me when you're done. Okay. I have a forged ID for you. Are you trying to get me angry? Let me guess. Gregor, the dome guard, sent you. I told him a thousand times I'm not responsible for these things. Alois is the city's supervisor. You should report such matters to him. Go on. Go and play Gregor's messenger boy. Ah, we're taking sides. Well, that that does make sense, because I'm not sure why I'm siding with the, the bandits outside. It just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. But maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Tell me what to do it again. And you did. <laughs> nice. I will take the ID to Alois. Ah, uh, no, it's all right. It's all right. Just, just give it here. I'll take care of it. Shit, I'm sorry I bit your head off. It's just... We've got enough to deal with without getting bogged down in the petty stuff. But Gregor keeps sending me every task he comes across. If there's trouble with the generators or the dome, then I'm your man. I have enough to deal with without counterfeit passes or toilet breaks for guards or shortages of hinges in the West Quarter. Still, that's not your problem. Thank you for bringing me the pass. Please, take your reward for honorable service to the Dome. I'll check to see who this ID was customized for, then a suggester can take care of the rest. The seat like this can only lead us to uncovering a greater lie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so I inadvertently helped the clerics out instead of the outlaws. 
Whoops. I thought he was the guy we meant to find. Am I crazy, or is our generator power fluctuating? It is. The B series was never very reliable. You know that. Ah, oh, then why are we still working with that piece of crap? Ask the technicians. Parts, repair skills, blah blah. You never get the same answer from them twice. Well, it's hard to get parts out here. Don't tell me you're backing them up. Well, there's not always an easy answer. There's nothing shards and hard work can't solve if you really want to. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. <laughs> okay. Let's check out our log and see what we've just done and goofed on. Um, it's not even done. It should be like the dome, maybe? Or is it still a running mission? Oh, I was meant to give it to Cooper. Sorry, Cooper. My bad. You can just leave it like that. What is it you want? Who are you? You first. Come on. Who are you? There is something that is familiar about you, but I can't quite place it. No matter, I suppose. All people are welcome in Abessa, as long as they are prepared to forget their past. Even Albs are allowed in here. I think Albs would be perfect people if they weren't so emotionless. But then, that is why they are the only faction I have never belonged to. What do you mean? You mean you want to become an elf? That's a long story. If you're really interested in my tale, then I will tell you, of course. The Albs would never choose you. I doubt they would even sully their converter with your miserable carcass. What would you know? Nice, Kim. Making friends as usual. What are you doing here in Abessa? I take care of the mechs and drones here in the city. Which means I coordinate and plan their maintenance and upgrades. When I'm lucky, I get to roll up my sleeves and do some of the actual maintenance. Which I'm having to do quite a lot, with all the technicians we're missing. Say, are you good with technology? Am I? I know the basics. <laughs> Unfortunately, that wouldn't be enough, I'm afraid. We don't really have time to train people on the job. Not if they're not going to stay here for good. And you don't look the type for that. On the other hand, if you're looking for some part-time work, I could still use your help. I have four people I've been told I should look at for taking the technician's job, but I don't have time to gauge their abilities. Would that be something you could do for me? I'd pay you. Yeah, I'll talk to your candidates. Great. The four names I have are Daryl, Naira, Rorick, and Riley. Though I'm really not sure about Riley. There's something about him I don't trust. But speak to each of them and let me know whether you think they might have the right skills and abilities for the job. Oh, and I'll need you to let me know about their loyalties. You know, can they work with clerics? Do they hate us? We'd be trusting them with the mechs and AI that defend the Dome City. So I don't want to employ anyone who might still be thinking about their faction, not our security. And why are you try trusting me with this burden? Like, first I get told the domes can go critical at any time. Now I get told that I can hire some help hire someone that could manipulate the AI and turn against you. This is perfect. I'm the, the best spy in the world. There's something about my face, maybe. Like I don't know how to say three words, and people are like, hey. He has the plans to our defenses, and by the way, if you want to just take this knife and stab it in my back, that's also okay, because you seem like a stand-up guy. Alright. I forgot their names already, but I'll, I'll, I'll get around to it eventually, I guess. Tell me your story. How did you end up joining the clerics? Right, I'll give you the full version. Well, the short version of the full version. Thanks. Just get on with it. Okay, I'll try to keep it short. So, I grew up in Goliad in Adan. My father and mother were both born berserkers, and so that meant I was too. Back then, Bajar ruled over Goliad. As a child, I had no interest in the laws, of course. But when I was about 12 years old, one of the warlords came to our home. He took my parents, and I was left on my own to survive in the city. I remember him. I remember my parents leaving. And I remember me screaming. But everything else is gone. It's just a blur. What happened to your parents? Well, what else? They were exiled. 
Nobody ever told me why they were exiled. I still don't know what they did, even today. I hate the Berserker laws. Nothing against the Berserkers. They're just people. It's the laws I hate. I think what the Berserkers want to do with Magdalene is right. But I can never forgive them for what they did to my parents. Why was I punished for whatever my parents did? Why wasn't I told what had happened? I swore never to return. And I haven't set foot in the down again. Where did you go? Wherever I needed to, to survive. That meant running from weavers and wild animals. It didn't take long for some reavers to take me captive. And then... I don't want to talk about that. I was lucky, though. After several years, the reavers were attacked by some of the Duke's outlaws, and they took me back to Tavar. I learned how to fight, how to live off scrap. Life wasn't much different for me, Dan. But there wasn't the same raptor shit. The laws. You could be who you were, and no one judged you. My gods, you've been everywhere. Then why didn't you remain with the outlaws? Because the Reavers who'd taken me captive came to the fort and wanted to speak to the Duke. I think they wanted to take me back. I fled when they saw me. I didn't want to be taken back, or for them to kill me to hide their crime. When I left the fort, I ran into a cleric patrol. They convinced me to go to the fort with them. Not that I really needed that much convincing. All those hours taking scrap apart and putting it back together in Tavar really paid off then. The clerics recognized that I was good with technology. So, I've been working on mechs and AI systems since then. Building things. Trusted. Part of a team. And it's easier being with mechs. They don't judge anyone. They treat everyone the same. Like this case. I know it's not perfect. But outlaws, berserkers, clerics, even elves are seen as people. At least that's the vision. Not always the way it happens. That's another reason to maintain these nets. To protect what we have here. Well, I hope you find your place in the world. Ooh. It's good when you do. Well, thanks, Vivian. You gave me a level. I'll be sure to waste that on something useless. You're most kind. Ooh. Well, this is pretty. Oh, my. See, what you need right now is like a chair here. This would be a nice place to come sit down for a bit. That'd be very nice, actually. <laughs> What's this, a generator? Can I smack it? Make the whole dome go critical? Blow everyone up? Be brilliant. I feel like this is a, a place we're not meant to be. But I'm gonna go check it out anyway.